This is part one of the novel The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Ma Kidd. The story is set in the summer of 1964, where a 14-year-old white girl named Lily lives on her abusive father's peach farm with her caretaker, Rosaline. Due to her mother's absence, Lily and Rosaline quickly form a mother-daughter relationship. This connection between the two often leads Lily to recall her mother's tragic death. One day in the year 1954, Lily's mother was emptying the closet when Lily's father suddenly got into an argument with her. She responds to his aggression by pulling out a gun from one of the top shelves. After some tussling for it, the gun eventually falls to the floor. Young Lily moves over to pick up the gun and is shortly met with a roaring blast. In the present, Lily only holds three of her mother's remains, a picture of her with a car, a pair of her gloves, and a picture of a black Mary with the words Tiburon, South Carolina written on the back. Lily knows Rosaline will be heading out of town the following day, so she decides to tag along in hopes of persuading her to travel to Tiburon. The next morning, the two set off and walk until they encounter a group of white men. These men begin to shout racist remarks at Rosaline due to her black skin, but she defends herself by spitting on their shoes. The men respond to this by swiftly beating Rosaline up and calling the police on her. Due to her sustained injuries, Rosaline is left in the hospital. However, through Lily's quick thinking and planning, the two are able to escape together without notice. With nowhere to go now, Lily convinces Rosaline to go to Tiburon with her. While walking, Lily and Rosaline come across a gas station. Lily decides to go in alone. Inside, Lily sees a jar of honey with the Black Mary picture her mother had and asks the cashier who makes it. The man provides the producer's name and location to her. With some more walking, the two finally come across the honeymaker's home. The honeymaker, named August, warmly welcomes them into her home. While staying there, Rosaline helps May, August's sister, with house chores, and Lily helps August with beekeeping. The two sisters also share a third sister, June, but she despises Lily and Rosaline for dwelling at their home. While she's there, Lily tries to uncover more information about her mother without the sisters realizing that her and Rosaline are fugitives. And that is the end to part one.